Hey guys, welcome back to All Alone Law. Uh, this is uh, Q bed. There's a quick pediatrics, and today I'm gonna talk about physiological anemia or physiologic anemia. of infancy so guys uh, this is a name itself indicates it's a, a physiological okay so the cause is physiological so it's a kind of uh, what you call normal um, uh, response of the body to and thus it causes anemia right so nothing to worry about this physiological uh, physiologic anemia of infancy so you know so um, when the baby newborn is born, it has a hemoglobin around, I think, from uh, 18 to 24. 18 to 24, right? 18 to 24. Okay. So what happens um, after three weeks or daily from a day compared to the previous day? It start decreasing, okay, until the third week and from it comes to the level of 11 uh, gram per deciliter okay 11 gram des, uh, per deciliter t around 8 to 12 weeks okay around i think around near the three months right two and a half to three months so two to three months around what happens the hemoglobin the hp percentage will be around 11 around 11 that's why we call it as an anemia okay and that's known as a physiological uh, why why is known as a physiological because the cause for this uh, what you call the etiology for this anemia is because of the abrupt uh, cessation of erythropoiesis with the onset of respiration you know very well because of the abrupt cessation of erythropoiesis what's erythropoiesis you know very well synthesis of red blood cells right with onset of respiration okay because and the other reason is one of the reason of this for this physiological anemia anemia of infancy and the other reason is because the fetal rbc the life of the fetal rbc are uh, is low is low it means we have 120 days right our rbc survival is 120 days so this the fetal rbc life is really low that's why you see they are early uh, undergo what you call degradation um, they are destructed by the phagocytes for the spleen and hence results in the anemia that's also a cause for that and what happens is the another one is the blood volume the blood volume there's expansion of the blood volume in the first three months okay first three months and that's also a cause for this physiologic anemia of the infancy so what are the three causes for the physiologic anemia of infancy the abrupt cessation of erythropoiesis with the onset of respiration and the life of the RBC is low, is decreased, okay, and the expansion of the blood volume in the first three months. So the pathophysiological is nothing but physiological adaptation to the extra uterine life, right? So it's a uterine, that's why it's not required when it comes to the extra uterine. So it has to consumption, it has to do a lot of work. That's why you see the anemia, okay? So what's the treatment? No therapy is needed, nothing to worry, everything is normal. It's a physiologic, okay, physiological, so nothing to worry about that. No therapy is needed. And if you want to give, you can give folic acid and iron for uh, hematopoiesis, okay. So you can give for that uh, iron, uh, iron syrups, okay, or suspension is really, very important. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.